friends this is Roli here today we are going to learn about a socket programming in java with the help of tcp in this program as i have already told it is a tcp so in this program we will create a first we will create a connection between a client and the server then using that connection we will send our data the connection is made with the help of a class known as socket what does a socket does is a socket act as an end to end connection so first we will create a socket in a client the socket the socket takes two parameters first the localhost because the server and the client is on the same machine then the port number the port number is used to specifically say that we should create a connection in this particular port number so after creating a port number we will create a data output stream class because we can't send a raw data from a client to server directly we should convert the raw data into form of streams so data output stream object does the work of converting the data into the streams so we will use in the parameter inside we will use a socket object to send the data cs s dot get output stream s dot get output stream is used to send the as i already told to send the data in the form of streams after doing that we will use a buffer reader class buffer reader it is used to take the input from the user then we will enclose our whole code into a while loop because in this program we are sending message from the client to the server and the server is only displaying the message so we will continuously send the message that's why we are using a while loop here first we will take the user input into a string then we will write the user input into the stream object because the output of stream data output stream is used to send the data into the form of streams this data is then received at the server side uh -huh. we should also include a throws exception because it may also give an error uh, such as the port number is already booked the port number is used by another services so we should always enclose inside a throws exception or try clause at your choice then first we will go to server for server for every socket connected in the uh, for every socket made in the client we should make a socket in the server as well but there is a class in a server which is known as a server socket which creates automatically the sockets the server talk socket uh, takes one parameter which is known as a port number it tells us which port we need to connect then second is a socket the socket is used to accept the connection whenever a client request a socket the server accepts it then we need to uh, print a message for for our understanding that a socket for uh, of the client is connected to the server so we are printing a connected method we will use the same data input stream because here we are using data input stream and the client we are sending a message so that's why we are using data output stream for client so for server we should use data input stream here okay data in stream here to data input stream and inside the parameter we used to use get input stream method yeah god good i'm getting an error here yeah oh i'm just used to what okay after creating we will use again use a while loop here sorry for wasting our time yeah then we will use while loop to get the message till the client is sending the messages then we will use a data input stream object to receive the message we will use the read utf method read utf we will take a method into a input variable string variable u okay i'm getting an error here okay after taking the input stream we will display it in the server using a simple system dot dot print ln method seeing that the client is 
send the message we will also use an if clause to exit it from if we type exit then you should exit a loop so we will use dot equals ignore case method type here exit then it matches the condition we will break after that we need to close a socket using ss dot close method but ss yeah we will save it oh and the client side also we need to close a method we need to use our same then we need to close using s dot close method all okay now just run a program it's in a socket class yeah first we will run the server first Server is running. I don't know where pop ups. Yeah, it's here, I guess. Yeah, service running now. The client, as you can see, it is displaying the message connected because once client is connected, then now we will try to send message to the server. Hi, as you can see, the message has been displayed in the server. yeah thank you guys for watching my tutorial if you have any doubts please do comment below and if you like our video please hit a like button thank you